Welcome back to Maros Films. Finally, it's here. I got the DJI Osmo Mobile 2 for testing. Thank you, DJI. And I got also two butterflies. One yellow and the other follows. So, does it track a drone? Does it know how to make eggs benedict? And does it follow your wife while she counts dog poop? Yes, it does all of that. Don't leave, this will be a full in-depth review of the DJI Osmo Mobile with some test footage and also full follow-through of the app. And I couldn't wait more for the weather to get better, so sorry for the cloudy flat footage in the following videos. So, shall we first unbox it? Starting in the box you will get the Osmo Shield added warranty, the instruction manuals and the black spongy case. Inside there is the DJI Osmo Mobile 2 and a micro USB cable to charge it up. There is nothing else in the box. This is my first DJI Osmo Mobile, so I didn't get the chance to compare it with the older one. This version allows you to mount your phone horizontally and vertically by unscrewing the knob on the back on the holding arm and turning it 90 degrees. Further adjustments to get it balanced right before you power it on is made through the back sliding arm and knob. When you get it balanced right and it's holding a horizontal position by itself, it's time to power it on. Hold the power button for 2 seconds and the gimbal gets in position. It's time to download the DJI GO app and log in. If you are a new user of DJI products, you will have to register. Turn on your Bluetooth connection on your phone and connect the DJI Osmo Mobile 2 through the app. Before we jump into the app, let's get to the buttons. The joystick allows you to move the gimbal in these directions, left, right, up and down. So direction combined, it covers a field of about 330 degrees. Tapping the power button twice, the Osmo will come back to the starting position. The dedicated record button allows you to start recording without touching the record button on the phone screen. On the right side there is a micro USB charging port. The DJI Osmo Mobile 2 will charge in about 3 hours on a 2 ampere charger. At the left side we'll find the zoom controls that allows you to make digital zooms via the app. And it was a little choppy in my case, trying to follow this pigeon. At the back side there is an USB port that is acting like a power bank, so you can use it to charge your phone. At the bottom side there is a one quarter screw mount, so mounting on your tripod is not a problem. So let's get back to the app. When you enter the app you will be prompt to connect the Osmo via the Bluetooth connection. Let's get to the video mode. We have the auto standard mode that looks like this. Then we have the interval mode that allows you to choose the picture interval and the duration of the time lapse. It will generate you a time lapse like this. Following on we have the hyperlapse video that I like the most. And this feature was featured also in the beginning of this video. And it allows you to choose the interval and duration. Yeah, I really like this feature a lot. For the last video mode there is a motion time-lapse function that allows you to choose the starting and ending position of the gimbal and it will make a time-lapse through the design path, like this. On the photo mode there is the single shot option with timer options, the panorama modes and the long exposure modes with the light trail effect. On the right screen you have the camera selection for selecting the resolution, a beautiful mode that makes you gorgeous, white balance selection, flash type and the girds. For the gimbal settings you can select the type of the scene that you are in, so if you are running select sport mode. You can turn your pitch lock on and off, when it's on the phone will remain horizontal. And when it's off, the phone will follow your movement. On the setting option, you can customize your camera settings, gimbal settings, and some general settings. And you can even go live through the live streaming platforms available. 
you can switch from back to front with the camera touch button icon or tapping three times on the power button. There is also the tap to focus button with the brightness level on it. Selecting the yellow focus marker, you can select the tracking option, drawing a box around your object of tracking. I found it very useful in a combination of shots and also when I was tracking myself while walking. And it tracks great even my small Mavic Air. The software does a really excellent job. To stabilize even more the gimbal, a catwalk is desired for a smooth ride. So, what I like about this gimbal? Being my first phone gimbal, it feels fantastic, even if it's all plasticky. The battery after 5 hours of use is still showing 3 dots of 3, so the specified 15 hours usage time is really outstanding and it will be fine for a couple of days. The horizontal position mode is a bonus for Instagram stories and smartphone generated horizontal videos. I got the feel that in horizontal mode the stabilization was not so good and it maybe have to do with the size and weight of my LG G4. The joystick is really pleasant to use and the added one quarter screw makes my life more easy. In the following days I will try to make a cinematic video out of it and see what it's capable of. Thank you again guys for following and for the great comments. And don't forget to give me a little big thumbs up if you also like this video and subscribe for more content like this because there will be more Mavic Air, Mavic Pro and other stuff to follow on. Until the next time, have a really great day!